What's up guys, it's Ricky Arnold here, and today we're going to be talking about the Logitech G203 budget gaming mouse and why it could be a great selection for you if you're a gamer on a budget and you need a new mouse. So let's go! Alright guys, so I'm sure you're sitting there asking yourself the exact same thing I was when I first saw this mouse, and that is, what can you hope to expect from a budget mouse that literally only costed me $27 at the time that I purchased it? Is it going to be any good? Well, let's check out the specs and find out. Alright guys, so taking a look at the mouse and its actual general size, uh, you'll see my hand, it's more of like a medium to large size hand, and it is quite a bit smaller than what I'm used to. Um, it, it doesn't really take much getting used to though, but if you're used to something that's more of a, a grip where you'll actually have your entire hand on the mouse, this may get take a little bit get, of getting used to because as you see, your hand does just sit quite a bit forward, and then my palm, having a bigger hand as I do, it kind of sits off the mouse and rests on my uh, mouse pad. Also keep in mind that my ring finger is actually completely off the mouse as well as my pinky when I'm holding it. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and open up our Logitech G software where you control everything with this mouse and we'll go ahead and check out our color options first. First one being a static color, we'll just obviously show a static color just like this. And then your next option is the color cycle option which the mouse comes as a default and it will actually shift through all the different RGB available colors just like this. Then your third and final option is the breathing effect in which it takes one static color and does a really cool breathing effect with the mouse and it looks just like this. The only thing that's kind of weird about this option is that as far as I can tell you can only do it with one static color it will not let you cycle through the RGB colors while it's doing this breathing effect unfortunately. And then of course you always do have the option to turn the lights off in case they get annoying to you at night or something like that. And then of course within the software there's the six programmable buttons on the mouse in which you can program to do pretty much anything you want. Like if you want one of your side buttons to talk to your teammates possibly like I do or maybe just to throw a grenade or something like that. And then also within the software there's a cool little extra feature that is a key press map that will actually record which keys you press the most often and it will show it to you on the on screen display right there. Red being the one you use the most often and blue possibly being one you use the second most often. The Logitech G203 actually comes with a pretty awesome sensor for the price that you pay. It is rated to go from 200 dpi up to 6000 dpi and actually with a software update you can actually go up to 8000 dpi. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys a really quick non-scientific uh, display of what the different dpi settings actually look like as you click through them. And as you can see as I click through and get to the 6000 to 8000 dpi range that thing is really moving across the screen and I can't see anybody really needing anything more than that. And I'm not sure about you guys but when I go to buy a gaming mouse, I know I'm going to be using it quite a bit and pretty heavily like I'm doing in the video right there. So I want something that's durable and that will last me quite a while. And uh, with this one, this is no slouch as far as that goes. This thing is actually rated for 10 million clicks on both the left button and the right click button. And if any of you are anything like me, you guys are probably a little bit particular about what your peripherals sound like given what uh, your environment is, whether it's a gaming station or an office. So here's a quick test of what all of those buttons sound like. Uh, compared to my Corsair mouse that I also use.
then right here you'll see a quick size comparison of how it fits into my hand in particular um, it does appear to be quite a bit smaller than my Corsair Skimitar mouse and you'll see also because those two side buttons even though it appears to be an ambidextrous mouse it's actually not it's still set up for a right hander like me All right guys, so in conclusion, we can see that the Logitech G203 is actually a really, really good budget option for a gaming mouse. It definitely isn't any slouch. It has a lot of cool features that a lot of gamers look for, and it actually hits the price point that a lot of people are looking for when they're getting into gaming, and they just need something to start getting into games. So what do you guys think of this mouse? I wanna see what you guys have to say about it in the comments below. Do you guys own this mouse? Have you guys been using it? And uh, what kind of experience do you have with it? Do you guys prefer this one or would you actually go for one of the more upgraded versions of this mouse since there is one that looks basically identical to this mouse called the Logitech G Pro that pretty much as far as the spec sheet goes and far as I can see, the only difference is the color and just the fact that the Logitech G Pro, the more expensive version, actually has a faster sensor where this one only goes from 200 DPI to 6000 DPI, the Logitech G Pro actually goes from 200 DPI to 12000 DPI. So if you're a super advanced you know, CSGO player or Twitch gamer or something like that that needs that DPI, you may prefer that, but as far as I'm concerned, I can play FPS games with this kind of mouse just fine, even not even at the highest DPI, and I get along great. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Make sure you guys leave comments. Like I said, I always enjoy seeing what you guys have to say about my videos. And then if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you guys go ahead and do that, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.